Feel Good Breakfast Show. And remember, I said like two minutes ago that we're going to have some really great conversations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is why we have executive of Absa Awards, none other than Alicia Reynard. And friend, she's here to tell us about her story because as Absa is always telling us, your story matters. And they also believe that every story of all the women that are within their incredible corporation, that their stories indeed deserve to be told. Which is why this morning we're getting to hear about how Absa is making a valiant effort of placing women in key roles in their whole entire structure. And I think it's so important because you mustn't just talk the talk. You got to walk the walk and do the do, which is APSA is doing exactly. And that is why everyone, let's welcome Alicia. Thank you, Sanele. It is so awesome to be with you again. Oh, <laughs> Alicia, it's so lovely to have you back with us. And Thank especially you. because we are celebrating women yet oh, again. Amazing. But the nice thing is that it's not just about celebrating them. It's about supporting them as well as making those key decisions to put them in key roles. 100%. Which is with where you are right now. And this is why I want to ask you, because I've heard a little bit about your story, but not too much. Why is it that you decided to return? Well, I mean, if I just look at my journey, my journey really started at the age of 19 sure. at Trust Bank, yes. believe it or not, as an inquiries clerk. And I believe, um, you know, little did I know that banking would be such an integral part of my life. Mm. So although I've been to, um, you know, I've spent some time at Nedbank, I've learned a lot at Standard Bank. I think that was seriously the hub of my professional growth. And even Visa, um, you know, being exposed to and really appreciating banking in a very different context, mm. not only South Africa, but in the African context. But in all honesty, um, I mean, my blood is red. Yes, it is. The brand is red. <laughs> yes, it <laughs> is. red in heaven. <laughs> I love that. But, um, you know, returning to, to apps allowed me to look at banking very differently mm. through a loyalty lens, a loyalty and rewards lens. And I think just working with an amazing team in such a dynamic and exciting environment allows us to operate in a very exciting, dynamic way. Yeah. Like the Go for Gold campaign yes. that, that, I, that we ran earlier on, extending it now for the Paralympics. Aww. So so really supporting our teams and both inside as well as out. I love that. And also, of course, you spoke about, you know, just kind of changing the dynamic and understanding how it is that, you know, one relates to their bank using rewards and many other things. Mm -hmm. So please tell us a little bit about, you know, how the free rewards program has kind of changed your mindset and even just like changed customer engagement mm. in terms of, you know, allowing people to bank with APSA. Oh, 100%. So, so it first of all, was such an achievement for me personally. Mm. I'll never forget my then leader calling me at night, just before lectures the next morning. Yes. And he says to me, Alicia, I know we're doing this, but we have to do it sooner. And I remember sitting there and thinking to myself, wow. I said to him, okay, let's stretch and let's make it happen. Mm. And with the team, I mean, we are proud enough to say that through, you know, taking the program free, we are able to almost double our membership base. Sure. And our, our members are, are engaged with us three to four times more wow. than our non-members. So, so really, really good achievement, not only for me personally, but I think for us as a rewards business. Beautiful. And with achievements always come the challenges, right? Oh, yes. So speak to us a little bit about those challenges. Mm. Actually, I want to ask about one in particular. Of your two-decade career, mm -hmm. what has been the most difficult challenge that you had to overcome? So, Zanella, I think the most recent difficult challenge mm. was certainly from a personal perspective. Um, during the course of last year, I found it somewhat challenging, you know, playing the role of a mom, playing mm. the role of a wife, of a leader, of being led. All the while, you know, kind of studying, being a student and doing my research thesis. Aww. Now, I know that that story is not um, isolated to me. I know a lot of us women go through it. But I think um, if there are just two lessons that I can take from the, that challenge and mm -hmm. that experience is number one, I can do. Yes. You know, I can do. Yes, there are multiple roles, there are multiple hats that you must wear, but you can actually do it. Yeah. And then number two is that... I am resilient and we're all resilient more so than what we think. Mm. So as uncomfortable as what an environment is, I think that is when your personal growth happens at best. Yes. What did Barack Obama say? Yes, we can. Oh, we can. And we can, <laughs> honey. <laughs> and you've shown exactly that, Alicia. And this is why I then want to ask you, you know, what advice would you give to young women who want to get into the corporate world and particularly in those different, you know, industries that mm -hmm. are very, very male dominated? So, so I think there's just three pieces of advice I can give. Mm -hmm. The first is 
remain true to yourself, remain true to your core and be authentic. Yes. But at the same time, be open to learning new things and growing to become the best version of yourself. Mm -hmm. The second is that this notion of male dominance, um, by no, it might be symptomatic of the past, but by no means determines a future, let alone your future. Yes. I mean, being a young woman coming into the corporate world a couple of years ago, um, I really encountered some really great male counterparts, male colleagues, male leaders mm. that have really been instrumental in getting me to this point. I love that. And then lastly, every single young woman has value to add. Mm. Every single woman has value to add. Yes. It is encompassing upon them and us collectively as women to really unlock and bring that value to life. Beautiful. Oh, Alicia, you're incredible. Thank, Thank you. you so much for coming and sharing your story with Thank us. You, and I think it's so important, especially as well, because that's what AFSA says, that our stories matter. Oh, it does. 100%. <laughs> her name is Alicia Reynard. And my lovely, as you heard from her, we can do it. You can, in fact, do it. If you can dream it, you can achieve it. And it is stories like Alicia's that allow us to know that that is 100% true. But more than anything else, that the magic of a woman, baby, it is only continuing to rise. And so is them being in key roles in the corporate world. And APSA is showing exactly that. And like I said, always reminding us that your story matters. For more information on APSA Rewards, head over to the APSA Rewards page on www.apsa.co.za. There are stories of dreamers, and we're inspired by them all. We invite you to write your story with us. Your story matters. ABSA.